I know I'm kind of backlit and sorry. Uh, it's too hot to get in the main side. <laughs> um, behind me you can see one of the things that I did in the week. I didn't really post any videos. It's kind of not the most attractive thing in the world, but it does what I need and it is sort of a shed type thing to store all our lumber and planting stuff, things that are important and I want covered, but it doesn't either doesn't fit or isn't expensive enough for me to care about putting it in the garage. But when I put it together, I forgot that I have a great big, it's about two feet across, maybe more, roll of chain link in the back of the shed that I want to move. And I just want to rearrange the shed, the actual shed, so we can put Ken's bikes in there and some of the electric lawn stuff, like motorized lawn stuff. So hopefully I can get that done by myself. Let's see. So I, wanted, I decided to test out some paint on the Muse and well I just kind of kept going so <laughs> get a late start videoing it um, but I wanted to test two things we have like some regular house paint which is most of what or about half of what you see and then there's some elastomeric roofing like it's a rubberized roofing is in there too and I wanted to test the difference between the two and I think on some of these small pieces I'm going to just to use regular house paint because it's a little bit thinner than the other stuff and it's easier to get into um, tighter spaces, I think. Uh, so anyway, I, I took the screen off the windows and I'm doing them first so that I can get the screen back up. And then I'm going to be doing the sides and the roof. But uh, I realized yesterday after we put the screen up that I wanted those painted so, so they're protected from the elements. And uh, anyway, back to it. Sorry you couldn't really see very much. I, I don't think you could really. But if I moved the camera out to where you could, then it would have overheated in like two minutes and turned off. It probably still looks junky to someone who isn't me, but I can reach everything now. Um, I don't have to move around a bunch of stuff to get things out of the shed. It just works out better this way. And I'm really happy with this because it gives me a shaded place to work. My lumber's all under cover now. The sun's not beating on it. The rain isn't touching it. Next, I will show you how I take care of the chicks that were hatched. First, I'm going to dose them with some vitamins that I give every chick that we hatch. And then I built a brooder and put them outside. That's how much time has passed. <laughs> And it's really hot here, so it's warm enough for them to be out, even at night without a light.
that's it. Then they go back in the brooder and the brooder goes under the heat lamp because it's really hot in here, but it's not controllable. The temperature is too variable in here. I actually wanted to give you a quick update on how the muse looks. Ken is in the process of painting it and I'm about to build the door. Almost done.